guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And today's video is a different one for me because it's not often that I show you guys savory recipes, let alone a salad recipe in a way, because I feel like this can sort of be classified as like a salad. It's a nice cold, almost appetizer, if you will. And that is because today I'm going to be making this delicious, easy, shrimp ceviche now this ceviche is so delicious it's almost as delicious as it is easy because there's really not a lot to it i'm going to show you guys how simple it is i've been making it a lot recently ever since i kind of learned how to make it and i have some tips and tricks for you guys in order for yours to come out delicious let me show you guys how i make my delicious shrimp ceviche If you're not too familiar with what ceviche is, it's essentially using a raw fish that you sort of marinate in citruses and juices in order to sort of cook the fish lightly. In this case, because we are using shrimp, it is important to actually cook your shrimp first. So you can of course buy pre-cooked shrimp and yeah you can make your life easier that way as well but because i actually like to defrost my shrimp i'm always buying frozen shrimp and i like to defrost it and cook it at the same time i honestly feel like that's just easier for me personally so i buy the already peeled already with the tails off just raw frozen shrimp and what i do is i fill it with a pot of water and i put it on the stove top and before it comes to a boil you'll see the shrimps changing colors they go from that natural bluish gray color to like a very vibrant pink before it cooks too much you really just want to drain that and remove it and you could even rinse that under some cold water so that you stop the cooking process but that is just what i like to do first i like to cook my shrimp that way i keep it on the side and it cools it sort of gets to room temperature and then i can work on the rest of my ingredients which is really just chopping up a whole bunch of vegetables and citrus fruits so let's get to it and let's make this shrimp ceviche so now that we have our shrimp set aside and ready to go when we need it I just keep that in a separate bowl and I have a separate bowl ready for all of the chopped vegetables that we're going to be putting inside the ceviche so let's get a cutting board out and let's start chopping up a bunch of vegetables and the first thing I start with well fruits and vegetables actually <laughs> and the first thing I start with is cucumbers you can start with whatever you guys like it all just gets thrown in a bowl so let's not be too picky about about this step but the first thing I do is I take a cucumber one cucumber is all you'll need and I peel it and then I slice it to be very thin and before I slice it I also scoop out all of the seeds I will be doing that for many of the fruits and vegetables that I put in here you just don't want the seeds in them because that adds a little bit too much juice and liquid and we don't want the liquid from things like cucumbers and tomatoes and so on we really just want the juice from the citrus fruits the limes and lemons and so on and I sort of keep everything that I'm slicing into the similar shape that we have going on here just one cucumber is all you'll need next we're going to be doing the same thing with the tomatoes we are going to be using about six tomatoes this shrimp is about 900 grams this is a very forgiving dish so if you add a little bit too little of something or a little bit too much of something no one's going to notice it's just going to be so delicious so slice up these tomatoes I like to buy these brown sort of heirloom looking tomatoes they're really delicious and what I do is I use about six for this recipe they're sort of like medium-sized tomatoes so keep that in mind and I slice them and I scoop out the seeds or the little caviar inside of the tomato and I just discard that we again like I said do not want the additional juices from the tomato in this case we just want the nice tomato itself without the juice so we're going to slice that up into similar shapes that the cucumbers were in just nice little diced size bite-sized pieces it's going to be really good next i love onions in this recipe and you can of course use white or yellow onions i personally like red onions i find them to be really good and they're slightly less pungent and a little bit more sweet than your average onions so i find them to be really delicious in this recipe all you'll need is basically one medium sized red onion small to medium size dice that up very finely and put that in you want to keep the pieces even smaller if you will than the tomatoes and the cucumbers because you don't want huge chunks of onions in this so nice little tiny pieces of onion throughout very easy just simply slice it and chop it as i'm doing next if you're not a fan of spice you can completely skip this step but i find that jalapenos are the perfect sort of 
kick, if you will, of spice. They add that little zing that is just perfect in this recipe. You can add only one if you don't want it to be too spicy. I add three. You can add even more if you're a really huge fan of spices, but I find three to be perfect. And of course, we are going to be cutting these and removing the seeds so they won't be too spicy, but they'll be that nice kiss of spice that I really like in this kind of recipe. So in this case, please use gloves when you're cutting jalapenos. Don't be like me and learn the hard way. If you have jalapeno hands, which means your hands are burning because you touch the raw jalapenos, always make sure guys to chop these with gloves on or you will regret it. But again, cut them into really tiny pieces, sort of similar in size to the red onion that we have. And that should be great. Of course, guys, if you don't like spice, simply skip this step. It doesn't take away from the deliciousness of the dish, but if you do love spice, this really adds something extra. Next, we have the cilantro. Cilantro, I feel like, is that kind of herb that you either love or hate. I personally love it, and my sister, she's not a huge fan of cilantro, but she really loves it in this recipe because I think it just makes this dish taste so fresh and so vibrant. I love cilantro. If you don't like it, don't add it. You can even replace it with maybe even parsley, a little bit of parsley, I think would be a nice freshness to the dish if you don't have that. But again, feel free to omit this step. I simply take a bunch of cilantro, so you might be buying one bunch at the grocery store. You can use about half of that. Use as much as you feel like you need. Really chop that. Go to town and chop it up nice and fine, and you will not be sorry, guys. The cilantro is honestly my favorite part, but I personally love it, so maybe I'm biased, but it's really, really good. What I do before I juice this is I finally add the shrimp to the bowl of all of the tomatoes and cucumbers and onions and the nice cilantro. I add the shrimp in and then I begin to cut up the citrus and juice it right on top. This is my favorite step because I know we are almost done. I have this little one, two, three mode in my head that makes me just remember how much I need. So one orange, two lemons and three limes, and that is perfect. You do want this to be very juicy, and before you serve this, you could even strain out a bit of the juice if you feel like it's too much, but it's really important for the shrimp to sort of marinate in all of the juices. That's what gives it its flavor, and because we took out the extra liquid from the tomatoes and things like that, you really do wanna be adding the juice, and these juices are so flavorful. I really like the addition of the one orange, so in this case, I'm using a blood orange because that's what I have on hand, but feel free to use any kind of orange that you like, even a tangerine if you're in a pinch, by all means, as long as you can juice that. And I do have my handy juicer, and it makes juicing these things so much easier because they're actually quite difficult to get all the juice out, so I highly recommend something like this. You can pick it up at your local store, but nowadays I feel like Amazon has become our local store, so I can link that down below for you guys if you would like as well. And now we're almost done. We're just ready for the seasoning. In this case, if you prefer, you can simply just add salt and be done with it. I like to add about a teaspoon and a half of salt, but of course, add as much as you like and taste it along the way and see if it needs more or less. Now that we have everything in the bowl, we can mix everything. So we have all of the citrus, all of the spices and seasonings and everything. Mix it all and you're going to see it come to life. It just looks so beautiful, so vibrant and delicious. And since we already pre-cooked the shrimp, you do not need to worry about giving it time in order to marinate and cook itself. If I were to do this with a fish that I would like to eat raw, like a tuna or something, I would definitely leave it raw. But in this case, you really do want the shrimp to be cooked. And that means we can eat this a lot sooner, which is so fun, but I do still find that it definitely needs time in the fridge for the flavors to come together and to mingle and to marinate in there. So kind of the longer you leave it, the better. Within 24 hours, the flavors really develop and they're delicious. So you can leave it for up to 24 hours or longer in the fridge, but of course a good four hours or so and you're good to go. Everything is cooked, everything is fine and seasoned and delicious. So I'm just going to put a little serving for myself into a cute little plate and then I will be here to taste this with you guys right now. I just simply place this in a little champagne coupe glass, if you will. You can put this in a martini glass for extra pizzazz. If you're doing this in small portions to bring to a party, you can even buy little plastic cups and plate them that way as well, which looks really cute. But how delicious does this look, guys? It looks so fresh, so vibrant, so good. There's a perfect amount of vegetables to shrimp to juices. It's just absolutely perfect. So let's taste this. Just gonna make sure I get a little bit of everything. Bon appétit! Mm. 
the best. Honestly, the easiness of this shrimp ceviche, as you saw, it was really just chopping a bunch of vegetables and marinating it with delicious citrus fruits and this great shrimp. It's absolutely perfect. Cooked perfectly, I find, and it's just so fresh so vibrant so delicious i really do love the cilantro in this recipe as well i feel like it adds such a nice freshness to the dish and all of the citrus in here is delicious it's just so perfect so vibrant it's like a pick-me-up kind of dish it's just really really delicious it looks super cute plated in this sort of champagne coupe if you will but you can plate this in like a martini glass or like little mini shot glasses if you're having a smaller serving or what have you even in a big bowl family style and you guys can all enjoy so i'm so happy to share this recipe with you guys and if you do enjoy it please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Of course, this recipe will be on my website, ladolcelisa.com. So for the exact ingredients and instructions and even more pictures, head on to there as well, where I explain everything very well. I will link that in the description box as well. So I'm just gonna go enjoy some ceviche by myself. <laughs> Bye guys.